Why do we overthink? Why do you think that is? Is this something we do since our life is far more complex than the previous generation? Is technology so advanced that we have to overthink? Is overthinking good? Or can it have bad outcomes? Is there a way to stop overthinking? These are some questions that will be addressed, but some to ask yourself. What is overthinking? Merriam-Webster defines overthinking as to think too much about something, to put too much time into thinking about or analyzing something in a way that is more harmful than helpful. Overthinking is a process that some of us go through as more than 73% of adults aged 25 to 35 engage in overthinking based on decisions they have made or yet to make. I, as an adult, also overthink, but perhaps too much. Overthinking can be draining and perhaps it can take a toll on our mind when it comes to understanding the truth of a situation versus a situation we made up in our mind. Oftentimes, we watch shows where characters overthink as they are very close to finding out the puzzle to the mystery in their lives to finally answer what the plot was all along in the story. But to really take a deep dive to understanding why we do this, we need to understand possible reasons behind overthinking. Stress is a pretty common reason as to why people overthink, and that stress can complicate as we further think over a situation that has occurred over and over. This can lead to anxiety, depression, sleeping issues, and many other reasons. But can overthinking be a good reason to live life? According to Hope Cure, perhaps not. The article suggests that overthinking distracts us from living in the present moment and reflecting far too much in the past. And one moment to address that much advice is that the article suggests that ignoring should be your last resort in order to avoid overthinking. So how can we solve overthinking? The first step is to think of negative situations in a more different way. Perhaps there is a way to solve these problems. Can we learn from the situation to prevent it in the future? Can we shift the behavior within yourself by looking at life in a different way? Can we slow our mind down by participating in activities such as religious prayers, yoga, writing our thoughts out, spending time with the people we care about, and cater yourself with breathing exercises to keep your heart calm and refresh the mind? Now that we got the more research information down, let us take this information that I have shared in a more personal experience route. Life for me is all about struggles and achievement. Life will hit you with challenges that you will struggle against, but need to find some way to push past through it. And when we are tasked with challenges, we tend to think on our feet on how to address it. Last year, I had a huge pattern of overthinking, and it really stinked. I was overthinking what people were telling me, how people saw me, and just about how old friends of mine perceived me after not seeing them for ages. And granted, it was very embarrassing. I have learned from it though. And some of the methods that I have shared with you today, I tried them myself and I have yet to get really good at it. There are two habits I have recently taken a part of that have tremendously helped me with overthinking. Granted, I am not a master of this skill. Yoga and spending more time with people. Yoga has helped me with my back problems, focusing more on staying flexible and overall really taking care of myself mentally. I have spent a lot of time with the people I care about and it has made me understand people a lot more and wanting to be the best I can be. We often forget how complicated our world is becoming as technology becomes ever so advanced. We are surrounded with technology, but oftentimes I ask myself, is there a possible way where I can live a world without using technology all the time? and focus on the things that are important to me so I can keep my mind healthy and free from distractions? Should I minimize my social media use? Should I read more? Should I lessen my time being on the computer? Should I focus more on improving my skills at work? What should I do? Can I reduce my overthinking by staying away from distractions? What is the outcome now?